here. Oh. <coughs> oh, poor old soul. Locked up alone in this house all those years. I don't think you're going to get much for this. <clears throat> Be careful with that. The new owners move in tomorrow and there is still so much more to do. Oh. Don't you worry, honey. I'll see that everything is out of here by then. Oh, look. She kept a diary. Diary? Oh, that's fascinating. <laughs> Crazy as a loon, you know. 
Poor old soul, God bless her. Mm. I know I'm late. I have an appointment on the west side and I still have to pick up the babysitter. Well, don't you worry. I'll take care of this mess. You go on ahead. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Of course I'm sure. Go on. God bless. Yes. Oh, thank you. When you're finished loading, bring everything to my store. The address is on this card, and I'll meet you there. bigger when it's empty. Come on, boys. Is uh, there an ashtray someplace? Oh, there must be. <laughs> Megan, please stand up straight. You know, I get such a strong feeling from this house. I think Everything is going to be different now. Where's my room? I hope you don't mind this heat wave we are having. What did I tell you? See? This room is perfect for you. Don't you think so, Mrs. Profili? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought all that had been taken away. You don't want that in your room. Of course not. I'll make sure someone comes to pick it up. It looks like it belongs here. It's part of the Weatherworth estate. I like it. Well, if it's all right with your mother, I could uh, arrange for you to buy it. Let's just look at the rest of the house. Can I? What? Fine. Get out! So, her father owns his own advertising company. I mean, the guy's a big shot. Well, he must think she's running for president of the United States, then. Just look at this. Uh, come on, what are you worried about? What, what are you worried about? I'm, I'm worried about winning, Ron. Uh, can I tell you something? You know what? You know what's wrong with you? No, please tell me. I will. I'd be delighted to. It's, it's, it's your priorities. See, I should be the most important thing in your life. Oh. Me. No, I'm really worried. <laughs> Look, you are going to be a great president. Everybody knows that. A great little president. Great dictator. What, what does Charlene got? Nothing. She's got an 
ice knockers, and that's it. Don't look at her boobs. Nikki. I saw your posters. They're cute. And I saw your shilling. They're big. Kim is handling everything. Oh, how nice. What's next, Kim? Uh, billboards all over town? No, that won't be necessary. I have a much better idea. What idea is that? You're not going to wear a bra from now on. That wouldn't be fair to Nikki. Girls. I'm late. Let me take a wild guess. You're the new student from L.A.? Admission slip, please. Come, 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 come. Give me a break. Punk is out. <laughs> Megan Gordon. Take a seat. for a funeral. <laughs> Could I have a little quiet, please? I, I'm trying to teach class here. I'll get her. Hey, you shouldn't take it personally. Those guys would laugh at plane crashes. Seriously, shouldn't give a shit about this. My name's Nikki Chandler. Hi. Hi. I brought your things. Thanks. Sure. You moved into the Weatherworth house, didn't you? I babysit for Mrs. Profili. Look, why don't you give me your schedule and I can show you where your classes are. Gym together. Come on, let's go. My parents are divorced, and uh, I live with my dad, and he works a lot. And he's not working, all he does is watch TV. He's a real nutcase. He should meet my mom. How long have your parents been divorced? My dad died four months ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why'd you guys move out here? My mom's psychiatrist advised it. Psychiatrist? Sounds very Beverly Hills. Yeah. My mom is very Beverly Hills. Okay, everybody in. Feeling better, Dr. Tobin. I'm still not sleeping well at night, and my head hurts all the time. And I'm hot. I, I just feel kind of hot. How do I know how the dogs are adjusting, Dr. Tobin? I've only had them two weeks. Megan's fine. I know she's shy. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. 
Really? Don't you think it's a little soon to just make new friends? kept the evil locked in the mirror ever since that night. I can trust no one. They would think I'm insane, and maybe I am. Mm. Mm. Tortured soul. I must control my thoughts and refuse to use its power. I have tried in vain to destroy it, only to find it returns. Oh, Mrs. Perfili, how nice to see you again. I uh, brought the auction papers on the Weatherworth estate. That'll save me a trip. How about a cup of tea? Oh, I have to run. Uh, oh, uh, that old mirror that we pulled out of the closet? Yes. Well, it got left behind, and my client's daughter liked it. Oh, that's funny. I thought I saw them unload that. Well, I must be mistaken. I told her I'd arrange something. Don't you worry, honey. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Now, here's Mrs. Gordon's phone number. I'm sorry. Um, I really do have to run. Well, come again for tea next time. We can chat. Sure, I'd like that. I saw her, and um, she does look a little strange, you know. Look, Mrs. Perfili asked me to show around. Besides, Ron, I, I like her. Oh, it's, it's okay. Fine. I just I just don't want it to turn into another one of your noble lost causes. You know? All right. All right. lying there when, when I went upstairs. At first, I thought he was sleeping. <gasps> Why'd you put him there? First your father, now this. It's not the same thing. I thought of it as a person. Take him off the counter. Take him off the counter. Is that all you can say? You never liked him, did you? Well, he liked you. Didn't you, from the Happy Valley Pet Cemetery. Oh, right this way. I 
wish Daddy were here. Dead people never come back. Now go to sleep, Megan. It was just a nightmare. Try to be more careful next time. Oh. Thanks. See you around. Jeff, honey. Does this look like a peep show? Sure looks like a peep show to me. Come on, Megan, let's go before they give us VD or something. Say something. Nikki, I wouldn't give you VD if you paid me for it. <laughs> Good, give it to Charlene. Is that all you can think of to say? Don't you give me a rest? Come on. You like him, don't you? No. Megan, I miss him and he's cute. Look at you, though. You're blushing. I am not. It's just <laughs> hot. <laughs> they met me in the day of success, and I have learned by the perfect report. They have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burn the desire to question them further... That's a really weird dream. I know. It seems so real, though. I used to have dreams about my parents getting back together all the time. See, I've had dreams about, about my dad, but they were never like this. Maybe it was a Weatherworth ghost. And desire to question them further. What are you talking about? I'm just kidding. What? They're just rumors. What kind of rumors? You don't believe in that shit, do you? Shh! 
This room makes me nervous. Let's go. Where? There. What do I do with it? Make something. I'm not an artist. Well, look, I have to finish this by next week for art class, so you might as well hang out and test your talents. Have fun. You know, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think that I'm a, I'm a lot better looking than this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, look. You know what? You're right. Hmm. See? Mm, yeah. Um, I think it's a skull run. I think it's too big for your small brain. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just go to the kitchen and I'll just do my own art. Art de cuisine. Oh, good. You're really good. Thanks. Come on, get over there. Come on. Sit down. I don't know where to start. Just move it around, you know? Try and play with it a little bit. Pretty soon, it's gonna start to look like something. And then after that, you tell people that's what you were going for in the first place. Megan, there you are. This is Mr. Veezy. I've invited him to dinner. seem dedicated to your profession, Mr. Beasy. I really love animals, Mrs. Gordon. Pets are people, too. Call me Susan. Bill. be really hard raising a daughter alone these days. It's a very hard time for me just now. I can understand. Potatoes, Bill. Thank you.
something wrong? I think I better go. I must be having flashbacks again. I was in Vietnam, you know. Oh, no, I didn't. Why don't you just come with me into the living room and we'll sit a while? Maybe it'll make you feel better. No, no. I think I better go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they last for a while. Oh, thank you for the dinner. Oh. I'll walk you to the door. Mr. Wig, what do you think? Don't you think it's a little soon to start dating? It might be old-fashioned. I think it's important to make new friends. What about your old friends? How about dessert? I'm not hungry. Bye. I'm tired. Good night. All right, besides water polo, we will work on developing your skill as a swimmer and also on your stamina. Now, there will be extra credit for those of you who do laps after school, and everyone here will be expected to participate. No questions? Okay, Kim, Lisa, choose your team. Charlene. Nikki. Wendy. Kathy. Pick Megan. Mm -mm. Come on. Tina. 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 Come on. Jacqueline. Yeah. Yeah, Ursula. Ursula. Susan. Well, Kim, looks like Megan's on your team. Why not Lisa's team? Now that's enough. Both teams into the water now. During the witch trials, witnesses claimed to have seen demons called up by witches to aid them in their evil deeds. Mirrors were used to create a gateway to the other side, allowing the demons to enter our world. By granting wishes and desires, these demons would seduce one into using its power, at which point one would fall prey to the demon's evil bidding. A black cloth was used to block reflection and void the creature's power. Nice of you to stop by. We have to stop by, Kim. It's the only way into the cafeteria. I know. That's why I'm here. Oh, a party. I love parties. What's the occasion? Uh, it's just a little get-together I'm having. Why are you inviting us? Well, let's not let this stupid luxury get in the way of our friendship. <laughs> Bloom? Oh, it's you. Oh, Megan, you're invited to a party. Thanks, Kim. We'll be there. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there.
Exactly. What's the big deal? Let's go. I'm not done with my lunch. <laughs> concerned about, okay? Now, go downstairs. Ghosts do not exist. And nosebleeds happen every day. Charlene is going to be fine, unfortunately. Something like I or someone or something was controlling it, making it happen. Mm, I felt something too. Like projectile vomiting. I was trying to eat my lunch. <laughs> That's not what I meant. No, you know, I believe you though, Megan, I do. Why don't we try it out? Why don't you try to make something happen right now? Like turning yourself into a normal person. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Ron! I'm, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm getting chicken pox. I, I just, I'm, I'm out of here. I'll be right back. You know, I, I, I told you, she is whacked. She thinks that she's like a, a lead in a horror flick or something. Say it's goodbye. Bye, Megan. <laughs> you call me when she leaves, okay? I'll come okay. right back. Mwah. Come right back if you call me. <laughs> Bye. He thinks I'm crazy. I think you're crazy. I just felt like I could have stopped it if I wanted Megan, to. Megan, stop. Look, dreams are not reality. You're thinking about this too much. Can we study now? Okay, look, here are my notes for the test tomorrow. And um, all you have to do is label the different parts of the evidence. Oh, <laughs> 
You sure you guys want to go through with this, huh? What do you think? We went to all this trouble for nothing? I just don't see what you have against this girl. Why not? This is a joke, for God's sakes. It's not like we're going to cover in pig's blood or anything. <laughs> Why don't you just leave her alone? Everybody else thought it was a good idea. We're just having a little fun. Come on. Notes away, clear your desks. There'll be no talking. If you talk, you will fail. Oh, my God. I hope this isn't the start of a new trend. <laughs> What's your problem? I don't have a problem. Sure you do. You just don't have a solution. I think it's more than that. She hasn't got a clue. <laughs> Girls? Who the real you is, and neither do I. Aren't we a little bit grumpy? I'm going to the store, Megan. Do you want me to pick you up some my doll?
Hello. I handle the weather worth estate. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Mind if I come in? What can I do for you? Well, I just stopped by to pick up something that was left here by mistake. Mistake? Mm, a mirror. It belongs to the estate. But I can take it off your hands. No, oh, I can't let you have it. Oh? Why not? It's mine now. Oh, you don't want that mirror. Why don't you come by my shop, and we'll pick you out a better one? I like this one. Maybe if I could speak to your mother? My mother's not home, and I'm busy, if you'll excuse me. Leadership, integrity, compassion, and unquestionable virtue are qualities you seek in a class president and find in Charlene Kane. Her straightforward approach and ability to go to the heart of the matter and offer a guiding hand over the rough times has made her a favorite among her classmates. When asked, her fellow students all rated her appeal and accessibility far above the other candidates. Charlene's innovative ideas are guaranteed to excite and stimulate growth among the student body and create an atmosphere for better student relations. She is a candidate who can define the issues and who isn't afraid of addressing each and every one. She is a leader who will gladly put her needs secondary for the benefit of the many. If you want a class president with a little something extra, who stands head and shoulders above the rest, who is willing to go the distance, the choice is easy. I hate her guts. Come on, we're here. Let's at least have fun, huh? Vote Charlene Kane for a better student body. Who the hell's that? It's her. Megan! Really? Hench me. There. I don't want to have fun. I know. I want to get even with her. Look, why don't we, um, why don't we dance? Wanna dance? Nikki. Megan! I'm so glad you decided to come. Am I late? I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Did I miss something? Did you look at you? Don't I look okay? You look so beautiful. Thanks. Nikki, things are gonna be different from now on. What do you mean? It's too much to go into right now, but I just want you to know that I'm really glad you're my friend. Hi. 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 You wanna dance, Megan? Yes. Why wouldn't I? Well, I don't know. Things got kind of out of hand at school. That's not your fault. I know, but I should have said something sooner. You're saying something now. Yeah. You gotta understand, Charlene. She's just, just kind of a spoiled brat sometimes. She doesn't mean it. Can we talk about this later and just dance for now? Sure. That outfit. Oops, looks like I missed the sell at Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> With Jeff. I know, I saw. We're very, very happy for you, Megan. Why don't you go back to him? Well, I didn't ask for it to happen. Oh, but you are asking for it now. Could Wait, you... what do you mean? He likes me for me. <laughs> Wait, Megan? Oh. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, where are you going? I'm Come gonna... on, where are we? Oh, no, I'm going to see what's wrong. No, you, you don't. Grandma. She can go by herself. You don't have to babysit her. She's a big girl. You know I'm right. What? What's the matter? Do you like her? What? Do you like her? Do I like who? Don't play stupid with me. Megan. I only dance with her. And you don't think she's pretty? Not nearly as pretty or sexy as you are. Come on, Charlene, you're my type. Prove it. No problem. What's wrong? I don't know. Jeff? What's the matter? I think you should leave. Why? What happened? Get out of the car. You can't be serious. Oh, I get it. They're just trying to get even with me. <sighs> no. Jeff, this isn't funny. Get out. Get out! Don't you ever fucking call me again? Do you fucking understand? Hi. Hi. I, I went back to the party and you weren't there. I can't stop thinking about you. I had to come over. Do you like me? Yeah, I do. Of course you do. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, let's slow down. Don't worry. We will be very gentle. Uh, we? I just feel a little confused. Don't you like me? <laughs> Where are you going? Um, I'm sorry, Megan. I think it's better if I go. You can't just leave like that. I gotta think this through, okay? Can he just leave like that? Who the hell are you talking to? I don't want him to go. Make him stop. Jesus, you are nuts. Charlene's gonna kill me. No, she's not.
of this mess. Megan? What is going on in here? Nothing. What was all that racket? Why don't you go back to bed? That's what I'm going to do. Megan? Good night. She looked so lost, so alone, helpless. help you. Make him wake up. The election's over. You'll see. For games, what do you know? Didn't your parents tell you? Tell me what? Jeff's mother called. He never made it back from the party.
fish try to drown me. I didn't touch you. Jealous bitch. school. I'm busy after school. Just be there. Congratulations, Ms. President. Didn't I tell you it was going to work out? How can you talk like that after what just happened, Megan? Don't tell me you're worried about Charlene. Cut it out. 
You deserve to win anyway. Yeah, well, Megan, it doesn't work that way. I told you I'd help you, and I did. Are you trying to say that you had something to do with this? I'm not saying that. Well, what are you saying, Megan? Well, let's just say that that you and me are innocent. <sighs> hey, you should be thanking me, you know. Thanking you? <sighs> thanking you? You are a fucking nut. Oh, you're home. I was looking for the dog. I think he's run away. Megan, I thought we'd go out for dinner tonight. Just the two of us. Oh, I'm sorry. I have things to do. Well, then tomorrow night, I'll make a big dinner, or we'll stay here, and, and it'll have all your favorites, like I used to. Okay, if you want. <laughs> Megan, I realize I haven't been there for you lately. I want things to get better between us. I'm glad you're feeling better. me all day. Why? Just leave me alone, okay? Nikki, I'm in control of it now. I don't want to hear this, Megan. No, Nikki, really. Let Nikki, no. listen. No. Nikki. Nikki. I can control it now. Megan, what's happening? I can stop it. I can start it. Stop! Nikki, the rumors are true. There is something haunting the Weatherworth house. Only it's not a ghost. It gave me powers. And those powers can be for you too, Nikki. If you want it. Nikki, that's, that's why, Charlene, I did it for you. And Jeff, I just got careless, and, and that was stupid of me. Jeff? You know where he is? Nikki, you're my best friend. I need to know that you're with me and not against me. Come on, let's go do something. Thank you. It's about time. I almost started doing homework. I'm sorry. Um, Are you all right? Can I borrow your car? Why? What's wrong? I, I can't explain now. Can I borrow the car, please? I'm going to have some waiting for me. Well, Nikki, I, you want me to come with you? I'll, I'll no, come just, with you. just go to my house and wait, please. Be careful, okay? Slow down. My, my mom only insures me, okay?
Vicky. Hi. Did we uh, get our schedules crossed? I don't need you to babysit tonight. Uh, no, Mrs. Profili, there's no mix-up. Um, I need to ask you about something. What is it? Um, well, I need to know about the Weatherworth house. Come on in. Thanks. Megan! Um, I was just on my way downstairs to cook you that meal, I promised. I haven't even asked you how you like your new school. We'll talk over dinner. Call you when it's ready. It was Elizabeth who brought up the demon and opened the gate. Once she used its power, the mirror controlled her. Mary killed her sister because she thought that would stop it. Look, I'm calling the police. No, that won't do any good. And if what you just told me is true, it could get us both killed. How do I stop her? It's not your friend we have to stop. The mirror is using her. She doesn't know what she's unleashed. We have to try to make her understand the dangers and help us. We have to close the opening. And I think I know how. Here, take this. Oh, don't worry. It's not for your friend. It's for whatever is in that mirror. Now, be careful. It'll try to trick you. And it can read your thoughts. And remember, don't ask it for anything. I'll meet you there. Wait, you have to come with me? I don't, I don't know what to do. There's somebody I want to bring along. Just don't go inside until I get there. I, I think I have someone I want to bring along, too. I need to speak to Father Jeffries. No, no, I can't hold. is absolute concentration. Oh, that's incredible. Did you see that? Did anybody see that? That splash of yellow between the salami and the meatloaf? That was incredible. That was great. The crowd's going crazy. Mayo, mayo, mayo. Okay. Nick? 
느낌? 내기 내기 네? 니키? 니키? 네? 니키, please let this be you. Take you to the hospital, okay? friend you need. <laughs> Nikki, I want you to come over here. I'll be waiting. <laughs> And Nikki, that silly old woman from the antique store, she won't be joining us.
Megan? Megan? What is it? Honey, your supper's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, you have to eat, you know. Just go away. I'll be downstairs if you need me. I love you, Megan. Mom? Mom, wait. Mom? Mom? Megan?
Megan. Decided to join you. It's just you and me. You're right, we don't we don't need anybody else.
Megan. Everything 